Well, after drawing thousands yes. of people to Eau Claire County, Wisconsin Farm Technologies State Farm Technology Days <laughs> has officially wrapped up. WEAU's Maria Blau shares how the event has changed through the years and where it's headed next. All of them are special, and the uniqueness of each one is what makes them that kind of special. This year's Farm Technology Days in Eau Claire County is not a first for Mark Hagedorn. That happened back at 1987's show in Barron County when it was called the Farm Progress Days. Since then, he's been to more than 15 shows and helped plan two of them. Over the years, some things have changed. You'd have to admit that attendance to farm shows in the past were a little more robust than they are now, but we had more farmers in those days. Another difference? Wisconsin agriculture has become more diverse from crops to farm sizes. There's a pretty big shift in what's considered cutting edge technology from the 80s to now. Some things, though, never change. Just, just the ability to be able to do some uh, relationship building, develop uh, good ideas as to where you can go to get some answers uh, and, and who to talk to if you happen to have a question that is maybe just a little bit beyond you. As the final visitors walk through this year's show, a team is at work to keep the legacy going. For two years already. When we actually started, I think it was a thousand and some days until our event. So. Now we're less than a year, so yeah, we're getting pretty excited. Dennis Rail is a dairy farmer in Clark County. His farm is the site of next year's Farm Technology Days. Rail says Eau Claire County's show will be a tough act to follow. At Farm Tech Days, Maria Blau, WEAU 13 News. You can catch Farm Tech Days next year, July 12th through the 14th, again in Clark County. And all proceeds from yeah. this year's show in Eau Claire County are going to fund youth scholarships, grants, and programs.